Good afternoon, everyone. So my task today is to give you a pre-orientation and preparation for the self-learning module in MAPE or commonly known as SLM. But before that, gusto ko po munang i-welcome lahat ng new and old students natin to my fellow teachers and to the school administrators. Are you ready for the new normal? So, I hope you are kasi hindi na po natin matatakasan yung pandemyang nararanasan natin ngayon. At ang DepEd ay gumawa po sila ng paraan kung paano hindi maputol yung learning ng mga mag-aaral na kahit nasa bahay lamang sila. At ito yung mga distance learning modalities. First is we have the radio. So, the radio by just tuning the air so we can able to learn. Another one is the television. Next is the online learning. This online learning is very commonly used nowadays. Because through the Zoom application, kagaya ng ating ginagawa ngayon, I, we can able to learn and we can able to see the faces of our classmates and even our teachers through the computer or through our gadgets. And lastly, as we have the modular learning this modular learning in in our school the kts this is this is our common practice so we can able to use or we able to use the module in our learning next what is this self-learning module so it is a self-contained unit or package of a studies materials used by the learners so it also provides learning activities when a group education or individual session is not possible. So of course, nowadays, face-to-face -face is so impossible. Kasi no classes, no face-to-face -face classes, no vaccine. So kaya gumawa po ang mga guru or ang TepEd ng self-learning module. Okay, here are the parts of the self-learning module. First is the objectives. Under the objectives, we have these learning targets. Later, isa-isahin po natin yan kung anong napaloob po sa each of the parts. Okay, next is the subject matter. The third one is the learning resources. The fourth one is the learning or the procedure or learning activities. The fifth is the assessment and then the last one is the agreement and the enrichment and the second part of the slm is we have the information sheet next is the prior knowledge the worksheet and then the assessment okay so here is the sample of a self-learning module in mape okay as you can see we have the heading that is if you are a grade 7 to grade 10, then you are a junior high school department. And if in grade 11 to grade 12, that is for the senior high school department. Okay, we have the self-learning module in MAPE 9. Very uh, important para, kung, para malaman kung anong subject po at saka anong grade level. Next is the quarter 1, week 1 which dated August 24 to 28, 2020. So 24 to 28, that is five days, Monday to Friday, one week, equivalent of one week. Next, as you can see on the top, we have the control number. This control number, it serves as a code in checking for the teachers para mas mapadali at para mas mapagaan yung pag-check ng teacher para malaman nila kung sino bang estudyante ang hindi nakabalik o nakapagbalik ng kanilang module in just a week. And then, hindi po pwedeng kukuha o bigyan ng new module ang estudyante in equivalent for a one week pag hindi po nabalik yung previous na module. So it is very important na ibalik or isubmit ninyo ang module 
every Thursday. Sige, later, i-explain ko pa kung anong date or anong day po ang, ang submission ng mga modules. Okay, let's continue. Name, of course, the very important para malaman ng teacher kung kaninong module po ang nabalik. Another is the subject teacher, the grade and section, as well as the LRN. Okay, the first part is the objective. These objectives, as well as the learning targets, it serves as a goal of the learning in a week. Again, it serves as a goal. Ito po yung gustong i-attain o gustong, i, uh, gustong ituro ng teacher mo sa loob ng isang linggo. So, first, describe the musical elements. That is for the music. The second one is the arts, analyze arts. The third one is undertake physical activity. And then the fourth one is we have the defined community and environmental health, which is the health. Remember that the MAPE has four categories. We have the music, the arts, the PE, and then the health. Therefore, in just a week, you can able to learn the whole MAPE. Hindi lang po siya music, hindi lang po siya arts, kundi napaloob na po lahat ang music, arts, PE, and health. I hope it's that clear. Okay, next is the subject matter. Ang makikita dito sa subject matter is those are the lessons. Lessons kung ano ang ituro or gustong ma-attain ng teacher. Music, we have the lesson 1, music of medieval, arts, lesson 2, PE, lesson 3, and then health, lesson 4. As you can see, lesson 1, that is intended for Monday. Lesson 2, arts. Lesson 3, Wednesday. And then lesson 4, which is the health, that is intended for the fourth day, which is Thursday. Okay, next. The third one is the learning resources. These learning resources serve as a material or the resources ng teacher kung saan po niya kinuha yung kanyang, kung yung kanyang module or kanyang content as well as the activities. And then the media and internet resources. The very common, if you have internet, if you have gadget in your house, mas mapadali po. Kasi you can able to research your learnings or your activities. Next, another is the procedure or the learning activities. This procedure and learning activities is the very important in the part of the module. So this learning activities, it serves as a steps, it serves as a guide kung ano po ba ang gagawin mo sa iyong module. Hindi po siya directly nabasahin or hindi po siya directly nasagutan. But you need to read the procedure or the learning activities. Okay, the first step is you need to ponder or to read the following word given in the table tab. Okay, later ipapakita ko sa iyo kung saan yan makikita ang table tab. So you need to read first. Next is read and understand the information sheet on page 1 to 9. So after you read uh, the table tab, the words in the table tab, you need to read and understand the information sheet in the page 1 to 9. After reading those information sheet, you need to take note the ideas written in the box. Later, I will gonna show it to you the words written in the box kasi that it serves as a important, uh, important content or information na kailangan mong i jot down notes. Kagaya, ng nasa, kagaya kung nandito kayo sa school, you can able to write it in your notebook. Okay, next is, the fourth step is you need to answer the worksheets on page 10 to 12. This worksheet also, it has a assessment and then worksheet, which is four activities in a week. Next is the assessment. Assessment, it serves as a quiz, it serves as a uh, 
uh, quiz in your daily learnings. Answer the following assessment in the day one music. You need to answer the choose me. Day two arts, you need to answer the complete me. This choose me, this complete me, I can get my BMI or write it up. Those are the name of the activity para mas mapadali sa mga learners na ma-identify nila kung ano ba itong choose me para mas mapadali nila na, na masagutan. Next is, the sixth one is we have this agreement and then the enrichment. Or, during our school days, it serves as, a, it serves as an assignment. So, the, the, it's stated here, read and understand the given activities and assessment for the week. Submit your output on, on a specific date of retrieval. So, the specific date of, re, of retrieval is every Thursday. Okay? Monday po, ihatid yung module sa inyong houses. And then, uh, pag, Thursday na, pag Thursday naman is, ibalik or ipasa nyo or isubmit nyo na sa teachers. Or if you have any questions, clarifications, or concerns, so you need to visit or you can visit at KTS STCI official Facebook page for the further instructions and concerns. And lastly, as you can see, we have the noted by name and signature of a parent and guardian as well as the date. This is very important. To make your module valid, kailangan po merong perma dito ng guardian mo or ng parents mo para maging valid po ang iyong module. And then as well as the date. Kasi hindi po magiging valid yung iyong module pag wala pong date or, at saka pag wala pong signature ng iyong parents. And reminders, dito po sa name and signature of parents and guardian, kailangan is consistent po yung person na nakasulat dito. For example, si mother mo yung nakaperma or naka-sign for the first week hanggang sa matapos tayo, you need na si mama pa rin ang mag-sign. I hope is that clear. Okay? Next. Let's go. Here is the information sheet. Okay? We're done with that, right? So, balik tayo. We're done with this part of the SLM objective. Let's continue to the second part, which is the information sheet. Okay, as you can see, we have this information sheet. The first step in the procedure or the learning activities is you need to read the following words given in the table tab. So, and on table tab, okay? Under the information sheet is we have the table tab. This table tab serves as a prior knowledge or a sort of review to your previous lesson. So, yung, preview, yung review ko lang ko dito sa map is we have this. Direction, read the following words in the table below. So, you need to re read that words in that table. So, after that, you, con you proceed to the information sheet or the content. Day 1, music. Okay, in the day one, that is Monday, you need to read the music. Music muna. Music muna. Wala pa muna ang arts, P, and health. Monday, you need to read music. That is for Monday. The second day, which is Tuesday, you need to read arts. Arts lang muna lahat. The third day, the PE. Okay, third day, third day, that is Wednesday, you need to read all about physical education. And then on the, the Thursday, which is the fourth day, you need to read e, uh, the information about health or the lesson for community and environmental health. Okay, we're done with the information sheet. As you can see in the information sheet is, ang makikita mo lang dyan is the content of your module. That is the content, okay? Information sheet. That is the content of your topic or the content of your module. Okay, let's continue. Next, 
we have the self-learning activities, the assessment in MAPI 9, quarter 1, week 1, August 24 to 28, 2020. Again, we have the name, subject teacher, grade and section, and then the score, which is MAPI. Okay, prior knowledge. And this prior knowledge is serve as a review, right? So, depende po sa teacher, meron pong mag, magpapa-read lang po siya ng words or pwede po siya magpapasagot dito ng any questions. Okay, dito mo po siya sagutan. That is the prior knowledge. Next is the worksheets. Worksheets, as you can see, day one, did you remember that day one that is intended for music, right? So, day one music, Name the elements. So direction, identify each statement below. Choose your answer in the given box. And write only the letter on the space provided. So the, a very clear direction or instruction. Okay, that is for day one. So the bar, uh, did you remember na? Day one, you need to read the content in music itself. And then, of course, you need to answer the day one music worksheet. Okay. Next, day two, arts. Day three, PE, solve my BMI. Day four, health, list it up. Okay, Though that worksheet, it serves as an activity in a whole week. And then this assessment, it serves as a quiz in a whole week. Okay, remember that one. Day one in the assessment, you need to answer day one music, day two complete me, day three I can get my BMI, and then the day four health write it up. I hope that is uh, I hope that, that is clear. Okay. Uh, again, in a day one, you need to read the content or the information uh, the content in the module in music found or found in the information sheet. You need to answer also the worksheet day one as well as the assessment day one. Okay, next on the day two, you need to answer, you need to read first the content or the information in day two arts found in the information sheet and then answer the day two, day two our, our worksheet. And then the day two assessment. Okay, I hope is that clear. Next, for the third day, Wednesday, you need to read the information or the content in the day three PE, physical education, found in the information sheet. And then answer the, th the day three worksheet and then the day three assessment. Next, for the fourth week. So you need to read the day four lesson in health. Answer the worksheet for day four, which is the health, and then the assessment day four for the health. I hope it's that clear. And then after you answer from Monday to Thursday, uh, Thursday is meron pong pupunta sa inyong bahay or kung bahay kung saan po kukunin na po yung inyong module. Ang tanging maiiwan lamang sa inyo is the information sheet. The first page of the module, yung merong uh, perma po ng inyong parents, dito po sa baba is ibalik as well as the this were uh, self-learning activities or the assessment in MAPI. Yan po yung ibalik. Yung maiwan lang sa inyo is the information sheet. I hope uh, you've learned. I hope that is clear. And then if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask or to visit our face official Facebook page para po sa inyong mga concerns and uh, for the further instructions. So I hope you've learned. Thank you and God bless. So keep safe always.